Okay, so I'm going to show you how to locate a cable, electrical cable coming out of these electrical conduits using the induction clamp. So I'm, I'm going to take the transmitter and I'm going to take the lead, I'm going to plug it up into the transmitter. I'm going to take the induction clamp and wrap it around the electrical conduit and then I'm going to hold the button down and turn it on. Right now it's on low power. I like to take the transmitter wires and all the leads and try to put them away from the, which way uh, I'm going to be locating. People always ask me how far away I need to be from the transmitter before I start locating. I always say that the leads need to be farther away than the buried target line is. I'm going to cut the unit on and I'm going to do a semi-circle around. I know that these cables are running toward this building in front of us. I'm going to do a semi-circle and this locator, you're going to hear it get quiet as it gets over the line. So in this screen, it says center line, and I got the compass uh, pointing toward the building. If you'll come over here and show them this screen. So right here is the compass. This is your signal strength. And if you notice, if I move too far over to the right, it says go left. And if I move too far over to the, to the left, it says go right. So I want to put it on center line. Once I get to the center line, I can push the uh, button on the unit. It will give me the depth of 2.2. And then it will also give me how much energy is coming from the transmitter onto the cable at 45 milliamps. Once I've, I can mark this, I can walk forward. As I walk forward, I'm going to swing the locator right and left to kind of in a uh, sawing action, like I'm sawing the cable in half. And then if I want to remark it, I put the indicator back on center line. I orientate the receiver so that the compass is pointing toward the, the front of the, uh, of the locator. And then I can check the depth again. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the information in the description below.